What is up, guys? You guys like my uh, acid-washed uh, hoodie I'm wearing here? You know, what actually happened to this was uh, I had a battery to a car in the back of my van, and uh, it exploded all over this hoodie, and it absolutely destroyed it. And I probably shouldn't be wearing it. It'll probably give me some type of skin cancer, but uh, I think it looks somewhat kind of cool, but really it probably looks retarded. Or I guess I'm not supposed to say that word. It looks like it has Down syndrome. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about hoodies. Um, I'm here to talk about WWMJD, what would Metal Jesus do? And uh, this uh, this video is kind of uh, feedbacking off of uh, Radical Rick's video. But then at the same time, I, I think this is a question we've all had in the back of our heads. And that is, with the whole John Hancock thing, and with John Hancock being a part of the Metal Jesus Rocks crew, what do we think Metal Jesus is going to do about all of this? Now, what I feel is going to happen is I think Metal Jesus is going to keep his distance from John Hancock. I don't think we're going to see John Hancock appearing on Metal Jesus' channel anymore. Um, Radical Rick um, did some Twitter hunting, and it didn't seem like anyone from the Metal Jesus Rocks crew was doing anything to support John Hancock and his uh, devious deeds, let's call them. And... Uh, uh, so I want to point out a few of my opinions on Metal Jesus Rocks because that dude kind of irks me the wrong way. And when I first discovered Metal Jesus Rocks, it, it, this was probably back in like, I don't know, probably like 2012-ish, probably like a year or so before I started my own channel. And at that time, he seemed like a really humble dude. Um, there was one point where I actually messaged a bunch of bigger YouTubers at the time about, you know, like tips on how to start a channel, how, how to grow, how to get subscribers, you know, all those things that, that beginning channels want to know how to do YouTube. And out of all the channels that I messaged, Metal Jesus was actually the only one that responded to me. So I thought that was pretty cool. But then what started the tipping point for me was when he tried to do that whole metal jesus rock tour now i'm not sure if it was when he hit 50,000 subs or a hundred thousand subscribers i want to say it was when he hit a hundred thousand subscribers but we'll just say it was 100k so when he hit 100k he tried to raise 50,000 fucking dollars from his fans so he could travel around the country and maybe stop in your town and play games with you. Now, does that just not sound like the most entitled, holier-than-thou piece of shit thing you can do? Like, it, seriously, it, it, it makes him seem like he's some type of rock star and, and that's this mentality that so many youtubers seem to pick up especially when they hit that 100k mark it really seems like the 100k mark is where humbleness stops and greed really kicks in so that was kind of like my, my first jarring with metal jesus um the other thing is Okay, let, let, let's talk about YouTube finances here for a second, okay? So, if you look at uh, Metal Jesus' social blade, he gets about an average of about 3 million views per month. Now, I'm going to be generous or, or conservative on the CPM he gets. That means the amount of money he gets per thousand views. And being that his channel's rather family friendly, I'm going to say conservatively he gets $2 per thousand views. So by getting 3 million views, he's making $6,000 a month off of AdSense, which that's quite a bit of money. You know, that's $72,000 a year. But on top of that, he also does a lot of brand deals. And I can guarantee you the brand deals he does would bring that figure well over the $100,000 mark, which is a lot of money. Making, making, six, figure, making six figures a year is, is an astronomical amount of money. You don't need any more money than that. But apparently he does because he also has a Patreon. And he hides the amount of money he makes on Patreon, which is one of the things I, that really pisses me off. Like, 
I don't have an issue with Patreon if you produce the content that's worthy of it. I will say I, I do think Metal Jesus produces content worthy of a Patreon, but I don't believe he needs a Patreon to bring in more money. I feel like the Patreon at this point is just greed. Um, in fact, there is actually a study done by psychologists in uh, Purdue State University that uh, figured out the amount of money, the maximum amount of money to bring you happiness is $95,000 a year. So that means like an individual that makes $95,000 a year, any more amount of money they make after that, their happiness really isn't going to increase that much more. Like there's a stagnant drop off point at 95 grand a year. So my point is for him to need more money than, you know, the 100k he's obviously making off of ad revenue and uh brand deals. It, it's just greed at this point. Like, you know, he doesn't need the Patreon. He's coming he's coming in on a million subscribers. I mean, anytime I see a channel that has uh, close to a million subscribers, over a million subscribers, and they have a Patreon. It, it kind of disgusts me. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But again, let me reiterate, I don't have an issue with Patreon if the content warrants it. And if that channel needs that extra income to do what they're doing, especially if they're putting that money into bettering the channel, as in, you know, getting better cameras, better lights, sound equipment, all that. Not by fucking buying video games and putting them on their shelf. Now, the third thing that kind of irks me with Metal Jesus, and this is a recent thing, is I really, really strongly believe that he has limited game productions in his back pocket. And, um... This has kind of been proven in a video he did a few months ago. I forgot the name of the game. I, I should have looked it up before I did this. But he basically like promoted this limited run productions game as like it's going to be some rare PS4 game that everyone should jump on the bandwagon and buy it. And really the only reason he would make that video is because, you know, a limited run is in his back pocket. Like he's obviously getting some type of percentage for each of those games sold. And just the way he presented that was really, really shady. So I, I didn't like that. The other thing that really pissed me off was the whole thing about him making the video of uh, his basement flooding. Like, yeah, his basement flooded. That sucks. Um, I don't believe he actually asked for donations, but people donated anyways because whenever they see a YouTube YouTuber in peril, they think, you know, oh, if I donate them money, maybe he'll be my friend. I mean, that's always, always the case when a fan or a viewer is donating money to a YouTuber. It's to buy friendship. That's always, always the case. And every YouTuber knows that and they take advantage of it. And it's really shitty. You know, like, I don't know, for our channel, for, for example, like, I'm not saying we were angels or saints or anything, but we never once had a Patreon. We never tried selling shirts or anything like that, just because for us, just having people watch our videos was enough for us. Like, just having a fan base was, like, the coolest thing in the world. And, you know, we, we made a decent amount off of... Um, ad revenue when the, when the channel was really doing well uh, at its prime we were clearing over a million views a month and you know it, it was enough to like pay for our car payments which you know that's fucking awesome for youtube to be able to do that um sure it, it would have been cool if like youtube couldn't could have worked out and been a full-time job but you know what it didn't and you know with how unpredictable youtube is it's probably best that it didn't. Um, you know, I, I work a great job now. I work for an SEO firm. I, I, I work as a video editor, a writer, and a designer. And, and I really enjoy my job. And I've learned a lot of great things. I've also learned animation. Well, uh, I've also learned animation. Not very well, but I'm starting to learn it well. And that's something that I've always wanted to learn. And my thing is, is... Like I said, I, I, I just 
don't see Metal Jesus backing up John Hancock at all. I don't think we'll ever see John Hancock on his channel again. In fact, um, I have a little funny story about how Metal Jesus views other people's personas and how they affect him. Um, so, you know, back a few years ago, um, our channel, D Dave, used to be good friends with Woodhawker, um, beat em ups. I, I have no beef with beat em ups. Um, I have nothing bad to say about him. But there is one point when Wood came to me and told me that Metal Jesus was kind of sketchy about working with him because Wood was someone that related with us. Like Wood was someone that hung out with us and therefore it somehow reflected badly on Metal Jesus. Now, whether or not that was true, I'm not 100% sure, but you know, if it is true, then for sure, he definitely wouldn't want anything to do with Metal, Han Metal Hancock. God, I just had another stroke. He wouldn't want anything to do with John Hancock after what happened. And uh, the other thing I wanted to say is, yeah, John Hancock is still going to have fans. People are still going to watch his videos. But the thing is, YouTubers are not. As far as the YouTube community goes, everyone knows he's a scumbag. I'd be really surprised to see if John Hancock ever shows his face at a convention again. That would really take some balls. And... I don't know, man. It's just it's just such a a fucked up thing that's happened in this community. Just where where uh, these false copyright strikes and just how broken YouTube's system is. Like they really need to fix this. And it's just like it's like yeah, we have all these rights to fair use, but then like there's all these background ways to fuck to get around fair use to where like we really don't have these rights they're really just superficial because there's a backdoor way to knock it down and it's bogus and and, and youtube really needs to put some time into fixing this stuff um i don't know i, I just wanted to address that and uh See what your guys' thoughts are. We, what, what do you guys think? You guys think we'll be seeing John Hancock on the Metal Jesus Rocks channel anymore? And what are your guys' thoughts on Metal Jesus? Uh, do you think he's uh, a humble dude like he seems he is? Or do you think there's more nefarious ways about him that are starting to kind of unravel? As we've seen with John Hancock over the past few months. Let me know, guys. Uh, appreciate all the support and uh, all the new subscribers that's come this way. That's really cool, too. So uh, nice to meet all you guys and interact with everyone. And it's cool to be making videos again. It really is. Even though I'm just using my cell phone right now. Um, you know, this is easier to do. And I'm just doing simple commentary videos. So I don't really need to bust out the big camera. Plus, it's a new Samsung S10. It does film pretty well. So I really don't have any beef with using a phone right now. But uh, I do have plans to make, you know, my more regular videos like I used to. Like probably some reaction videos to some ridiculous stuff on the web. Uh, maybe some skits and stuff like that. Um, stuff that takes a little bit more work where, you know, I'll, I'll put in more work into editing and using my regular camera again but i have been enjoying giving my views on uh on commentary it's 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 something that i never thought i was that great at but honestly i've been doing these videos in one take and though they're not perfect i definitely don't hate the way they've been coming out it's it's really been forcing me out of my shell to do something i haven't really done before so it's kind of i'm i'm just I'm just glad to be back on YouTube and be making videos again. And thanks to all you guys for your support and not for and for not forgetting about me. Love you guys all and um see you guys soon. Peace out.